It is with very mixed emotions that I share the news that one of my favorite NBC colleagues is retiring. So the last thing before we go tonight, celebrating Carrie Sanders. Our dear friend and colleague is retiring after an amazing 32 years with NBC News. Carrie started out with NBC Miami back in 1991. And over the years, he has reported on a variety of topics all over the world. Whatever and wherever the story, Kerry was always game on. Here's a look back at some of his remarkable career here. The uh, fighting has been fierce for two days. The only thing left now are about 200 absentee ballots. You really get a full idea of how widespread the damage is. He's reported for NBC News for over three decades. Kerry Sanders, NBC News, Port-au-Prince. Nazaria, somewhere in the Australian outback. Kerry Sanders on the ground, around the world, covering the big stories. It's about 19 hours into the rescue, and it's remarkable. Each one has gone on without a hitch. From breaking news. I'm not exactly sure, but the officers started yelling, get down, get down. To natural disasters. Let me take you out the window here. We've got, this is the Dadeland Trailer Park here, or it once was the Dadeland Trailer Park. What you're looking at is what remains. If there was a hurricane, chances are Kerry Sanders was there. The Florida-based correspondent right in the thick of it. From nature's fury to human fury. Kerry embedded with U.S. Marines on the front lines of the war in Iraq in 2003. It's a lot like a uh, knife fight in a phone booth. It's just that difficult. His work as a journalist, often guided by his compassion, as we saw when he handed a wounded Marine a satellite phone to call home. I'm okay. I got shot in the hand. Sanders, incredible range and humanity always shining through. When people call you a hero, what do you say? Oh, we did a job. We're no hero. We're in the Florida outback. His tenacity, curiosity, and let's face it, sometimes kid-like enthusiasm for the story was hard to match. I guess only somebody from Florida would be the silly to jump in, but we'll give it a shot. <laughs> How many of us can say we saved dolphins? I know. I know, we're getting, the, we're getting the tangles off you. Well, I think that there's going to be a happy ending here. A master storyteller whose work often left us smiling. I am going to uh, get in position and join them, and then in a moment, we're going to release these turtles out into the wild. And that's how we feel tonight, as we say a fond farewell to a reporter who always gave his all, taking us to new heights and as always, leaving us wanting more. Kerry Sanders, NBC News, Miami. Of course, we end with that hot young shot. The <laughs> one and only Kerry Sanders joins me now. Oh. Oh. I'm so honored you're here. I'm so sad oh. you're leaving. We just saw your greatest hits. What story is most memorable for you? Well, we saw when I was with the Marines in Iraq, which is clearly one of the most memorable moments because every day for those weeks upon weeks my life was protected by them as i was reporting on what they were doing and it was really incredible but personal experiences you may have seen that quick shot of me sitting in an f-15 and so to go up in a fighter jet amazing and to experience zero g which is what they call the vomit comet where the with astronauts train in i know what it's like to be without gravity and to have that opportunity experience that it will stick with me forever being in iraq that is a massive overwhelming heavy story to cover but was it your hardest because you've told so many personal stories yeah you know it's the individual stories of people that shared with me some of the tragedies some of the losses in their lives uh some of the real horrors that have happened that i think that were perhaps the hardest stories um I mean, I can get into the details of some of them, but they're, they're, they're the kind of things that weigh heavy on your mind for the rest of your life. But on the flip side, that I've had the opportunity, NBC, to do these really incredible things like jumping out of a plane with the, <laughs> with the Golden Knights and- Saving and a dolphin. Well, that's just, that is my truly, when they say something went viral, I can honestly tell you that is true in this case. And I say that because with a little Google alert on my name, when that happened, and then I started getting Google alerts, they would show up 
and I couldn't read it because I couldn't even recognize the alphabet that my name was appearing in, it was in, in these so news many articles languages. in so many languages. I just love when you're talking to the dolphin, we just got to get these tangles out. Mm -hmm. This last question is a little heavy. News is under attack these days. Journalists, we hear, we hear stories from journalists in the field all the time who passers-by are yelling at them, threatening them. It has happened to me. What do you want people to know about how important the news business is, especially as we look to the future? I, I, I say this, that people will all have opinions, but they can only have the opinion on what we tell them happened. We have to be the first presentation of what happened. Draw your own conclusions, have your own opinions, but don't assume that Kerry as the reporter is presenting an opinion. I'm presenting what happened. Draw your own thoughts. The truth matters, but only if you hear it, and you should always listen to it from Kerry Sanders. Oh, thank you. He takes us out tonight.